Hey everyone, welcome to the Three Things Thursday for August 12th. The first thing I want to let you know about is that Westgate Alliance Church in Saskatoon has purchased a sea can. You know, one of those big, huge boxes that sit on trains and they're shipping it to Arviat. Let me just read this for you here. It says, they purchased a sea can which is destined for Arviat. The plan is to fill up the sea can with clothing and small household items that Brad and Jackie can use in ministering to the community of Arviat. Brad and Jackie have created a list of needs. The sea can will leave Westgate property in Saskatoon at the beginning of September and will arrive in Arviat before freeze up this fall. So Westgate would like to invite all the churches and they've invited Cornerstone Alliance Church to participate in this by collecting clothes and delivering the items that they need. However, we won't have enough time to get the clothes to them. So what we want to ask you to do is to donate some money that can be used for Westgate in Saskatoon to purchase the items that they need to get onto this, this container. And this um, Arviat Alliance Church is located in Nunavut. It's the most northern district church. Brad Williams is the pastor. The community of Arviat is under 3,000 people and located on the banks of the Hudson Bay. It is accessible only by air and sea. The cost of living is very high. The houses are situated on permafrost. Water is trucked to the homes. Homes are heated using heating oil and town power is generated using generators that run on diesel fuel. So this big sea can will stay in Arviat and Brad and Jackie can use this as a building for storage for things they need in the future. So if you'd like to do that, the deadline for you to donate is August 25th and the link is on our website. Just click that give button in the bottom corner. Secondly, I want to remind you about the Angel Tree Ride for Hope. And if you are able to, September 11th, please join us to walk or bike or run or take your stroller. And we are going to be raising money for the Angel Tree program. If you're not available that day or if you just aren't able to participate, you can give money uh, in to, to one of us. There, I, I see Dora is registered and Matthew is registered and, and Shannon and Emily or, or Pastor Jordy and myself and some of you still haven't registered yet. You go there and donate uh, to, to, uh, to one of us so we can be raising money for this Angel Tree Ride for Hope. And finally, I want you to know that we are making plans to open sometime between Labor Day and Thanksgiving. And I'm hoping that next week on Thursday, I'll be able to give you that date. But until then, I'll see you at Online Church on Sunday.